there we go. We are set up. Stream is running. Discord is open. Now we are just waiting for the levels. Dog is laying in a sunbeam. Audio seems good. Uh, microphone volume. Test. Yeah, we'll bring it up a little bit. Although it probably is going to pick up the game audio through the microphone, which kind of sucks. Still haven't found a good solution for that. Has the main race channel started streaming yet? They have, but they don't have anything up yet. Soon, I'm sure. Close this. All right. Whew. Race day. Still get a little bit butterflies. I don't know what the, what the deal is there. I used to. Oh man, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not ranked in verses anymore. I'm not top one thousand. Lost a medal. Do I want to even try to get that back? Is the question. It's hard fought for, and really, good chance I'll be losing rank rather than gaining it. My maker points have been going steadily up. Probably because of the races. Gets a lot of, uh, get a lot of plays and likes and such. like Odin's in, so I'm going to add him to my spreadsheet. Uh, he's only been in one race before. What was his last race? His last race was on October 5th. I was in that race and I did beat him, not by much. Race. Okay, so that's race five. Odin's back, fifteen twenty-five. Okay, I had it by a pretty good margin for phase one at least. Not so much phase two was awful for me last time. Okay, so I've seen at least five people saying that they are going to be in this one. Alright, so I need to get four columns added here. It's 
We got Coas, Dobbs, Germ Dove, Odin's back, and Zero Planes. Whoops, that's actually supposed to be in this column over here. We'll figure it out. All right. Oh, we got courses. Hey, we got courses. LG5, YN, date, one in F. Gregman 2013. That is a new guy for uh, courses. Crazy trip. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, we'll leave spaces for the last four that I skipped. Uh, which is, yeah, four courses that I need to have room for. Okay. We've got. Uh, D3R, JJK, YCG, Renton's Fortress, his 60th level. Okay, what does this look like? Clear check 124. Oh boy, big old boom boom fight. Maybe not necessary. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Key doors. Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of this. Apparently can be beaten in 24 seconds, so that's not bad. Uh, what else we got? Okay, X. X in F. 3TG. A cave adventure. 44 second world record. Oh, it's all underground with a checkpoint. That's about it. Okay, cool. This is like all new levels, or all new uh, creators. This is great. I mean, not great for me because I don't know what to expect. Oh gosh, there's a lot going on here. Huh. If GFE has the record on this one as well, that's pretty hilarious. This is his shtick now.
Taco Princess is familiar. She did the castle run. Oh, she does tough levels. I, I remember the castle run. I wasn't able to race that one, but I did play it. I'm going to run out of space for downloaded courses. Oh boy. Yikes. That's scary. Ten red checkpoints. Or ten red coins. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Double checking that I've got the right courses here. Crazy Train Ride, Horrendous Fortress, Cave Adventure, da -da 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 -da, and Swinging for the Swamp Coins. Hands are cold. Sorry, I didn't see you there, Noculus. Mokalakis? Sorry, I read Monoculus because I used to play a lot of TF2. Oh, I I'm not actually doing like uh, viewer levels. Uh, this is part of a race on the Speed Gaming ch channel. So I will only be playing the levels that uh, are part of the race today. Watch the race. It is on twitch.tv slash speedgaming4. Wait for the countdown. I want to go ahead and start filling these into the uh, spreadsheet, but I'm going to hold off until we actually finish phase one. All right, countdown is a coming. squad where are you guys from what is this from uh jman one re well thank you for the uh for the raid uh welcome to the race which is gonna start any second now oh man welcome jman thanks for the raid buddy i appreciate that yeah this is with uh speed gaming uh they do a weekly race uh, so we got five courses coming up that I'm going to try and get through faster than anybody else. Countdown is coming up. J-Man, are, uh, are you also a, a Mario Maker kind of guy? I assume that's probably what, uh, what got you over here. Nice. I, uh, I missed Mario Maker 1, so I was really excited that they actually brought to the Switch. Because uh, I feel like I get to be part of the cool crowd now. Because uh, I have a lot of fun with this game. Uh, I'm about to be really bad at it, though. Well, fingers crossed. I'm, if, if I play my cards right, I might win the race. We'll see. Yes, I'm I'm big on world record grinds. I love that. And uh, the phase after this five level stuff is uh, we have 
some amount of time to grind out world records on the levels we race through. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, we're off. Crazy train ride. My big problem has been that I, oh, I get it. Nice, oh, okay. Oh, um, all right, well, that's fine. Uh, a lot of times I just am way too intent on playing fast and wind up making stupid mistakes like that. All right, world record on this course is like a minute and something, so I'm not expecting there to be a lot of cool speed strategies. Oh gosh, these, oh, I do not like these tiny little jumps here. Oh boy, uncomfortable spikes. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, no, these are all blind levels, so we do not get to see the levels until the race. Uh, well, checkpoint. Uh, so, other speed gaming viewers will submit levels, and actually at the end of this race, uh, we will see who is voted the best level, and best level gets 30 bucks, second best gets 20 bucks. So, I have had a few weeks where I could not race, and I submitted levels, and I've actually made a fair bit of money just submitting levels to this race. So, if you got some good levels, consider uh, submitting those. Whew, alright, hoping that's the end of it. Oh gosh, there's another one. Oh! <laughs> We're done with parachutes. Training wheels are off. Momentum. Please be the end. Oh, good. Oh, no, no, nobody, nobody. Okay. All right, that's one down. Four levels to go in this race. My heart is already pounding. All right, what do we got next? Uh, 24 second world record on Renton's Fortress. Thanks, buddy. All right, here we go. All right, I do want a power up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna granny shot this. Uh, I've had a lot of races where I get really close and end up failing because... That's all right. Come on, Bowser. Uh, because I just try to get a super fast run in. And really, I just need to finish the level, not necessarily finish it first shot super fast. Oh, this one's got tons of power-ups, so I'm digging that. Oh, yes. First try. All right, I like that. Two down. Whew. So usually the difficulty on these race courses hovers average expert level. All right, what do we got next? Normal difficulty, 45-second world record, Cave Adventure. I'm guessing maybe exploration. Uh, no, I can't see the other racers. Uh, red coins required. I missed the description on that. Uh, so I have no idea how well I'm doing. Oh, this is a... This is an adventure, all right. Okay, that's fine. All right, we are just looking for red coins, I assume. Okay, yeah, and then somewhere around here. Oh no, this is a Yoshi, okay, that was a bad idea. Oh yeah, I gotta go back now. Okay, I get it, this is a, this is a get through each section, grab a power up at the end of each, 
to progress to the next section. So there's one guy in the race that usually beats me very handily, like by a huge margin. Um, what are you telling me here? That's just 10 coins randomly. Uh, and I've never been able to beat him. Uh, he, I've won, there's no ground down there. Yeah, adventure levels feel weird. Uh, I've gotten first place in the race before, but never while he's been participating. So if I can beat him, I'm doing good. Hmm, almost just walked off to my death again. Okay, yeah, this is definitely just the puzzly sort of, you need this power up to get to this area, this power up to get to this area. But now we know a little bit about which one's required for which. Okay, so you want me to grab a turtle for this. I'm not sure exactly why you want me to do that. All right, well, now I got Yoshi. Yeah, the world record grind on adventure levels. Very interesting. Oh, okay, here we go. Hope that wasn't super necessary. Oh, I wish I had gotten that earlier. Oh, all right. Let's grab an extra because I'm feeling a little paranoid at this point with four coins under my belt. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so there's a red coin door and I'm not sure why. Uh, or a uh, key door. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get to that one. Okay, there was a coin back there. I saw that. Well, that's all right. I'm not going to be able to get that now. Are you telling me I want a star or what? Awkward jump. Okay. All right, now key door. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that funny? Optional red coins. I still had to go to pretty much the same areas, so there's that. Okay, 22 second world record. I looked at the thumbnail for this one and it looks a little bit hairy. Fingers crossed. Okay. Uh, what are we doing here? Branching paths? Trust in you? Okay. I think this is a branching paths kind of level. Which, not terrible. Uh, no, we got one more after this. Oh, I tried to take him out. What is... And there's a conveyor belt over there. This will be... This is a weird level. Uh, do you want me to jump, or where am I going here? I cannot tell, so... Okay, I see coins. Uh-huh. Okay. What do you want? Okay, there is ground. <laughs> Alright, this is a level that I'm not sure what it wants me to do. Am I supposed to make this jump? Okay. Am I allowed to be up here? No. This level is having an identity crisis. And there's a key door. Okay. Oh, I barely dodged that. So after this sort of five level race section that we do, phase two is 
three of those levels we're going to have to optimize for like 15 minutes each, try and get the best possible time. Alright, I recognize this level creator from last week's race, and it's rough. Uh, precision wall jump platforming was what the last one she did was. Okay. Ten red coins. I should not have, that should not have worked, honestly. Okay, uh, was I even supposed to jump down there? Oh gosh. Uh, uncomfortable. Oh boy. Really don't like that. Extra don't like that. <laughs> oh, this is sad. Oh gosh, that one's really bad. Yes, this this one is now the last one. Oh, and I have to. Okay, I have to go back. That one's not too bad. That one is really uncomfortable, but again, could be worse. This one... Oh... Ah, that's a... What am I gonna do there? There is a checkpoint, apparently. Um, according to the level description on this. Nobody's won yet, so that's good. I'm imagining everybody's going to be stuck on this level for a bit. Hmm. I could just abandon that one for now and hope I get a power-up later. Alright. I might need to skip it for... I don't know. This one is rough. <sighs> well, they sure saved the hardest for last. I'm trying to get too fancy on that. What do I need to do here? Alright, so that is pretty much all I can do there. This one, just wall jump here. Tiny, tiny wall jump there. Alright, this one, I can't seem to get that one without totally dying. Ugh. Blah. There is a checkpoint, apparently. Lava is not rising. Check for power ups. Nope. Worth it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so do you want me to triple jump? What is this level? They okay, the races do get hard, but usually not quite this level of hard. Oh gosh, that is rough. Oh boy. Wow! These are really brutal! Oh, dang it, somebody just finished. Yeah, it's not going to be about getting best time on the level, it's pretty much just beating it. All right, so the guy that always beats me just beat me. Oh. Okay.
Oh my goodness, this level. Alright. On the plus side, I got a checkpoint. Alright, and the very terrible thing about this is I still... You know, head out, J-Man. Hey, thanks for thanks for dropping by. I appreciate the uh, the raid. That was pretty cool. All right. Considering losing the checkpoint because this is telling me that that uh, that initial coin that I kept skipping over. There's no, there's no power up uh, abuse to uh, rely on there. It is just going to be a somehow. Ah, that is a, that's a max height jump. If I could get like a tiny bit of, okay, so look here, jump, just a little bit of wiggling might be enough to, to get me out of that pit. I don't know what the deal is with these super hard levels coming into this race these days. Two spins on that upper left coin somehow. Ooh, two spins is good, but not good enough. So, what are we going to do there? Just really pull back far? Not sure. Face plant into saw. That is the solution. Uh, I'm okay. I'm getting too much momentum, so I need to pull back way early on that. Oh boy. Okay. I've never not finished a race level. It may take me a while, but we're gonna get there. There we go. Oh! Cool! Uh-oh, what happened to my uh, chat layout there? Whoops. Ignore that. I just wanted to spill out into the thing a little bit. Um, 
My bad. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just trying to be cautious on this. That's cautious, by the way. That's what being cautious looks like. Uh huh. Hey, there we go. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. We've seen the end, effectively. All we gotta do is thread the needle. Oh my gosh, we did it! Oh my gosh, we did it! Okay. Uh... Oh, dang it! I just took fourth place by like two seconds. Mmm, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Oh, by that much. That level is absolutely brutal. I don't know what I was doing there that just wasn't working, but it wasn't working. Uh, okay. Hmm. That's rough. That is very rough. I'll have to get the exact uh, down to the millisecond difference here at some point. I usually keep a spreadsheet on these races to see just how terrible. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it was really close. I'm honestly, I'm just glad I was able to finish that level. Uh, yeah, okay, so, oh, it's out of five this week. This, that's a very small race this week. Only five people. Uh, well, not last. So not uh, so it could be worse. Wow, that is a rough level. We've had super expert levels before, and they're n not that bad normally. I don't know what my deal was. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, so I can clear the timer. So. Phase two will be starting soon. So I gotta get my splits ready for that. Uh, so phase two is a little bit different. Where is this? Wait, not splits. Uh, settings is what I need to edit. So phase two is three of those five levels we're gonna have to optimize. We're gonna have we'll have 15 minutes for each of those levels. And then we're just gonna have to go crazy and try our darndest to No, that's 15 seconds. I'm getting very distracted. There we go. Alright, we're gonna give it a couple minutes before switching over to part two, they say. That's good. Yeah, that's an unusually difficult level for this race. This race is, I mean, it's meant for players that are above average, but usually not that bad. <laughs> like, this required a lot of precision. That one jump from the middle of the, the two saws, you had to get a, 
You couldn't do a standing jump out. That's a one tile area of saws. And you couldn't do a standing jump out because you would only barely get above the saw and not be able to get enough momentum out. You had to do a running jump from within that one tile gap between saws. That is just brutal. And of course, GFE has the world record on that with one minute. Uh, him, him and I exchange records a lot on some levels. Uh, he's one of the testers for the race levels, and he makes it a point to try and get the world record on everything. Okay. We are going to do part two in this other channel here. Yada yada. Oh. All right. So we don't know what level it is yet. But we're going to have 15 minutes to optimize a level. This is my favorite part of the race. So we're actually going to get to, you know, get familiar with the level, learn its ins and outs, find the little, uh, the little mistakes that the level creator left that we can cheat our way through. Okay, still no sign of which level it's going to be. My guess is not the last level. That one is out. Uh, and Crazy Train, probably not that one either. There's not a lot you can optimize on that because you're just waiting on the thwops to carry you to the end. So I'm guessing Renton's Fortress, which is pretty much just a bunch of enemies over lava. The big optimization there is going to be don't get the power-ups, but still get through the level. Or actually, damage boost might be faster for some of them. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll try and figure out what the best is there. Cave Adventure, big optimization there. Don't bother with the red coin, because apparently they're useless. Uh, JJ's 1-2... Speed run. The goal here is figure out what in the world you're supposed to do with this level. Because honestly, I do not know. That level was a mess of just everything happening at once. Uh, so I'm going to go to played courses here so I can look at the... Oh, it doesn't show up here for some reason. Well, I'm going to look at it through ID once we figure out what level it is. Reason being, I want to get a good look at the um, the thumbnail on some of these levels and study that a little bit. It might be a stupid strategy, but it works for me sometimes. Just take a little bit of time to look over the level. So, squint. And what do we got here? Okay, Bowser, the Bowser Jr. battle is required. Does Bowser Jr. die when he goes in lava? I think he does. So maybe the optimization there is time the hit on him so he gets caught by the lava and I can get out of there uh, before I die as well. After that, we got Skull Platform Ride over some saws. Not a lot of optimization there, except hit the saw, hit the skull as soon as possible. I can grab a power up there because I'm going to be waiting on the saw at the other end. So we'll grab one there. That'll let us damage boost through one part. Oh, uh. Okay, yeah. They haven't they haven't said which level yet. But that might be coming up soon. Here we go. What do we got? First level is Renton's. Okay, cool. So we are studying the right first level. We made the right call there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then there's a, a boo ring, I think, we had. Might carry damage boost through there. We got a couple of uh, burners. Okay, everybody's readied up. 15 minutes to optimize. 10 seconds on the clock for the countdown. 
five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. <sighs> so it's not about beating the level fast anymore. It's now about optimizing. So we can make mistakes suddenly, which is, in my opinion, very nice. All right, this first jump might be a little bit... Okay, so that might be the way to do that. Oh yeah, I like this. Uh... Okay, interesting. The um... Oh! Oh, did you see that? The quick kill. Jump on Baby Bowser uh, while he's over the lava. That is the speed strat right there. Okay, I don't like that I have to pause a bit because of this muncher, but I don't see a better way yet. Oh gosh, that hitbox. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, that was... Okay, so the lava does not actually hit there. Okay, that's not too bad then. Um, yeah, that Bowser Jr. fight is going to be the big uh, time save, I think. Okay, I cannot make that in one jump. I'm going to have to hit the ground. Maybe the uh, item block before that one-way gate. I could pop that open and deal with Bowser a little bit. Ugh. What's that? Oh, that. What is that? Was that the key? Oh, it's a one up. Oh, so there's Goombas. Okay, I definitely. That, that power up, I don't think, is going to work out. We want to. What do we want to do on that? Also, I think I might be able to skip that second Goomba and just do a big jump over that whole section. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a lot easier. Okay, so we want to bounce him. Bounce him, oh! If I can get him to behave... The quick kill is very tempting. And that's definitely world record strat. I don't know if that's um, uh, good for okay, this. Yeah, that's the strat there. Oh man. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, time there so far twenty seven seconds ish. And there's not a whole lot of level left at that point. People are submitting times already. All right, that's a good way to kill Bowser quick. Okay, we're gonna pop that, grab this. Oh, whoo, oh, cool. I'm glad that was there. How did I avoid that last time? Weird. Excellent Bowser kill. 86 on the clock. There we go. Alright, just go for it. Boom. 29. Oh, not the best time apparently. Somebody's already got me beat by about a second on that. Wow. Rough. Okay, for phase two, we need to screenshot our best time. 29, 172. That felt like a pretty good time, but apparently there is room for improvement, especially if I can get this Bowser quick kill. Okay, Bowser.
bounce back over to the right. Oh, somebody else got a sub 29 as well. That's rough. Does not bode well. All right, so bounce back over to the right after jumping on Bowser. He will come to me. Good to know. Two, three. Good. Big jump. That's okay. Whatever. Okay, never mind. The global timer on that does not work out for that strategy. That is not where we lose our power up, apparently. Ah, I want that quick kill. It's not gonna save a ton of time, though. Ooh, that was close. The quick kill is really nice, though. Mmm, not nice enough. There is a way to time that better. I'm just not sure what it is yet. That's faster than we were in there last time. Oh, that's... So oh, interesting. Uh, 27? That's currently the best time out of the racers. Okay, so phase two is a little bit different from phase one in that you do get to see how good everyone is doing because we all post our best times in the same channel. 27 for 11. Okay. I really want to get the best possible starting loadout. I just can't find it is the problem. I think going over the muncher is the play there. That was just sloppy. Okay, so super good news on, on that uh, Bowser strat is so far that seems to be the winning strat. Quick kill is probably better. Oh, that would be it, but I need to jump straight up so that I don't hit Bowser on the way back down. I did not do the thing that I just said I need to do. Okay, remember? Oh, that's all right. Oh, whoa! Kovacs just got a 25 second run? And the record's 24, now that I think about it. There's a better strat. What is this better strat? Mm, not that. Ooh, I got six seconds left to find it. Maybe tank the damage on the spikes? Man, it's just not quite over the lava. All right, let's not do the quick kill for now because we still got to figure out what that big time save was that he found. Someone found a really good time save and I want in on that. Uh, it might be damage boost over the spikes. And if it is, that sucks because that's really going to slow down the rest of my strategy, which relied on damage boost. Mm, I'm just sucking at that right now. I got to hop in there and get him faster and not do that. Okay, here we go. Damage 
Let's boost up your own. Oh, you can make... The, oh, actually, that doesn't hurt my strategy because... Um, oh, because you get, you get a power-up on the checkpoint. Ooh, he just got sub-25. That's crazy. And it sucks for me. Oh, Bowser Jr. decided to jump backwards that time. Cool. All right, let's see if we can optimize that. Oh, class. Took the top time from me. I can totally believe it. Okay, good, clean. Good. Don't jump on me, Bowser. Oh, nice. What do we got? 25 something. Pretty good. Pretty good. Three and a half minutes left, but we still don't have the best time. 749. We gotta hit that Koopa on the left side so that we can get over the muncher. <laughs> okay. At this point, I think our our real speed strat comes down to uh, that Bowser quick kill after all. That is gonna make a difference. We are now in the frame battle. Didn't get it. Oh, that one up mushroom. Causing me problems. Question, should I go for the... Should I go for the power up before Bowser? Probably not, because that makes me a lot more vulnerable to bonking my head. So we will wait until the skull ride, I guess. And we'll just, that's really slow there. I get a little bit of speed boost from the skull platform. Not much though. And a little bit of slowdown from that guy. Ooh, that's just bad RNG on the fire. We can't that's just a roll of the dice there. Two minutes left. Might be better to ride that claw. Yeah, claws are... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, we're already at 25 and change. 24, nah. I shouldn't have let that complete. That's gonna cost us a few seconds. We're still second place, barely. If we can pull out a good time, now's the time to do it. Pretty good, pretty good. That's fine. Oh, he's on a track. He's not even gonna hit us. All right, that's our last time we can put in. I, I never noticed in all those runs that he is on a track and physically cannot jump. All right, 25, 777. Um, yeah. 749 is my best time. Oh, 
Coast trying to get one more time in. Oh, the rule is now you can finish your current run at the buzzer. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll just assume that that very last run I was going to do afterwards did not pan out. Okay. Final is 25, 7, 4, 9. And I'm going to bet that the next one will be... Uh, one of those other two levels. Either the adventure level or the weird... 1 2 level. All right, is Cave Adventure going to be it? We'll see. Oh, himself has the world record. Okay, I did get the second. I think right now, with how I'm getting just absolutely trounced by Coas, I think second place is probably the best we're gonna do. Still depends a lot on the rest of phase two. All right, Cave Adventure is next. And in phase three, which is the endless, uh, the endless expert run, 20 minutes of endless expert, most completes wins. Okay, so this one, world record 44 seconds, clear check 118, we do not need red coins. Countdown incoming. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So what's really different here is this is a longer level, but a little bit more forgiving. Don't need the red coins. Okay, I let go of that uh, jump just a little bit too early. Oh, that was much cleaner on that entrance. Oh wait, and then I need to go here. All right. Is there any way a bomb could help me? No. Break that for good luck. And now I gotta go lower left. Spy helmet not needed. At that point it's over, right? I don't even need to kill those guys. So there's a, what is that, a 60 something. Just to get on the board, a minute, 0.4. We want to get this pipe scrolled on screen as fast as possible because that will get the mushroom out sooner. Ooh, nice. Bump the bump head there. 
don't do that. We definitely want to get um, get there with the mushroom, waiting for the bomb to blow up. No bueno. There's some way I got in there earlier, much smoother. Good jump there. I like that. Okay, let's just go all the way out there. Nice. Pretty good, pretty good. So far, I got the best time on it. That doesn't say a whole lot, though. Okay, so here... I don't really need the flower. I do need to duck jump there. Because I can just bowl right through that section. I don't have to... Okay. Uh, 56 something. Oop, germed up just to go 55. All right, so we are currently in there. There is a race for this top time already. Mm, no, not good. I want to, I want to get here, and I want to just jump, jump, jump. Get that pipe on screen. I thought maybe uh, bouncing off that prana plant might do some good, but not really. Big jump there. through here. Okay. Oof, Koas taking 54 seconds and a half. there. Might save a little bit of time. This, we're pretty much just waiting on the Yoshi egg. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's not nice. Why am I waiting on this? That's weird. But I gotta, I gotta lay off the gas just a little bit right there. Nice. Okay. Curve back around. Big jump. Little jump. Yoshi egg. smooth. Not nice and smooth. Oh, I was so fast through there. Oh, that it didn't have time to drop the... Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, what do we do about that? Let's 
51 from Codex. Nice. There we go. All right, that's a that's a slightly better time than I'm usually getting. Not by much. At this point, it's pretty much just. Yeah, it's pretty much just go. 53 seconds. Second place time right now. Okay, so it might just be... Yeah, there's no... 53.73. There's no... I'm not missing some secret strategy. It really is just do it better. Not how you do it better. The vine there, not really a winner. get through this a lot easier. Look at that. Actually, not bad at all. 51 something. Ooh, that might be a top time. If not, second place time. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oops. It is a half a second. Oh, wow. Drum Dub with a 49. How? How? Use the mushroom somewhere else. Maybe the bomb is a decent strategy. Or something. No. No way. How is that bomb? I gotta keep this here. Oh, that's a good one. That's how you do that. Wow, you can just barely tap your way through that. Ooh, this is a good time. Okay, so you can get through there, but you gotta duck and just barely hop. I do need to lose the mushroom. Fifty two. Not my not a good time though. Okay, so lose the mushroom pretty much as soon as I'm done getting through the little uh, little door with the Yoshi. 47 from Germdog. Oh, he's got a good strategy, whatever it is. Oh, interesting. 
did I pull that off the first time? Feels pretty good, but apparently it's not. Get that kind of time. I gotta drop for four more seconds somehow. Fifty and change. He's beat me by th three full seconds. Is he cheating something? Huh. Okay, that's nice. Okay, I'm still beating Coas, barely. Hmm. Last run. Germ Dove. What the crap, man? He just got an even faster time. Man, that's really good. And the world record is still a 44. Where am I losing six seconds on that? Holy cow. What? He, just, he took the world record just now. <sighs> no, no, okay, never mind. He edited that. <laughs> I was about to say, what? Alright, the five final times there. We got second place. We beat Coas on that. So that's good. Almost positive this is going to be the last one. Really hope it is, because I really don't want it to be that uh, Saw level. Huh. Okay, there's a conveyor belt randomly in the sky, and then underground section that does something oh choose your own speed run i'm guessing it's a cyo 
Oh boy. All right. Uh, at the end, there is a pipe. There are two pipe exits and a door exit that could lead to the flagpole. There's a whole section on the main world that I did not ever actually hit. So what? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is there, but we'll see. Whew. Gosh. I am still reeling. Germdove beat me by a significant margin on that level, and I don't know what I missed. I'm really looking forward to watching his playthrough of that and see exactly what he did that worked out so well for him. Uh, are we getting ready here on the next one? What is the next one, speaking of? I'm expecting it to be this level, but don't know for sure. GFE with the world record. There's 22 seconds. So... Yeah, that section was weird with the Hammer Brothers. All right, this one's going to be weird. This is just going to be a try a bunch of different things, and you still won't know what the fastest is. Uh, hey, Hovercat! Okay, this is going to be the next one. Good. Uh, so to fill you in, Hovercat, 4th uh, of 5th on Phase 1. Because of the last level, it was just awful. Um, phase 2 I've been doing pretty good on. And we are wrapping up Phase 2 at this level here. Uh, phase three, who knows how that's going to go. Countdown for level three of phase two. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So this level is a weird branching path. Who knows which way you're supposed to go. So I don't know what I'm going to do on here. There's that way, there's this way. Okay, so this does put you out on the left-hand side. Probably not going to be the fastest. No idea where this is going to go. Never took this path. Well, this just sticks you back here, but higher up. Huh. That's almost pretty cool. Okay, so I will probably just do this. Probably taking the high road here. Really don't know if it's faster than uh, whatever else there is out there. And then there's that path there, which might be the best. So GFE's time on this was like 22 seconds. Absolutely amazing time. Okay, can't pull back if I don't hit the very far edge of that turtle, so gotta be careful on that jump.
There we go. There it is. And then I can that. And then I can go over here. Oh, all right. I just need to go under them, I guess. Don't like that I'm slowing down there, but yeah, let's go over them. Who knows if this is a good strategy? Doesn't feel great. So far, most people are putting in, looks like a 31, a 34. So that's going to be our metric. It's 19 seconds just to get here. Okay, not bad. Best time so far, at least. Um, but nowhere near GFE's time. It's 22 seconds. How in the world? Let's try the underground here. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so that would take us 15 seconds to spit us out right there. So far, second best time. Oh, that Goomba is on a mission. Where does that put us? Oh, what is this? Actually, let's hold that thought. Where does that put us? So we made it here at 20 seconds. Uh, yeah, no, it's not a good spot. Okay, so I think going up here is better. But then you can go down here. Ugh, what is this level? Do that with a mushroom and maybe you're in business. Hmm. Maybe? I just have no idea on this level. Actually, that might be the route. Twenty six and change. I think that's it. Clean that up a bit. Yeah. Maybe find a better mushroom. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Probably even a quicker way to that pipe. And 
definitely make their way through there. Okay, that's the that's the route. That's it. We're on to this. We're on to this uh, GFE route that we're looking for. Okay, gotta grab a mushroom there, but gotta get a running start jump. Oh, so Hovercat, I had my first uh, Twitch raid earlier in the stream. First time that's ever happened. Like at the end of a stream, when you're done streaming, you can pick another streamer to basically send all of your viewers to. Uh, so I had five random people show up and hang out for a little bit. That was pretty cool. Seemed like nice people. Actually, how... How far over do I need to be to make that jump? Like, I might be able to make it from here, even. I don't know. Alright, that's 89 left on the clock to get in that way. And here, I think I just want to take damage. Well, never mind. Koas has a time coming in. What did he get? He got a 24. Uh oh. Uh oh. I pretty much resigned myself to the fact that Koas is probably going to win this race. He's at 88. Um, so it's pretty much just as long as I'm beating everyone else, then I'm good. Too slow. Okay, that probably is it, but... I don't know how to shave off two seconds from that. Okay. So that looks good there. Here, I don't know exactly what I want to do. Seventy-eight. Four. Okay, that's really close to Koas. It probably beats Koas this time. I think we're on the same route, him and I. Green dot. Six. GFE still beat us by like a second and a half somehow. And it really bugs me that I can't figure out how in the world he did that. Well, that's definitely not it. Can I hit that mushroom block from the ground? No. Can't do that. Hmm, you can't take damage there. Whatever you do. That's the whole plan. Ooh, that looks smooth, but still, what is GFE doing here to get that much better of a time? Kind of a, nope, not like that. Like, I don't need the mushroom anymore at that point. 
point. Uh, do I just run through the... No. Because I got to be on top here. Yeah, I'm still bumping a bunch of stuff here. Huh. I'm ducking under there not to avoid damage, but just to avoid the uh, the real time time loss. Hey, 23 something. Minute and a half to go. Decent. I still keep bonking there on the wall, and I don't think I can really avoid it. Ooh, it's gonna be really close on this on this one. Ooh, that was a bad run. Like less than a tenth of a second difference between me and Koas, but I think I might have him beat on this level. Which is not going to do much for me beating him overall, but it might do some good for me just, oh. Oh, that's probably, that's final time. All right, what do we got here? No, not the Nintendo eShop. Ah, <sighs> 23. 724. I beat him by point zero zero nine. Less than a frame. Were there any horizontal moving platforms in this stage? Because usually the only way you get subframe completion times is like a conveyor belt or um, like a skull platform, something that you stand on that's moving horizontally. All right, we gotta edit splits and change our timer to 20 seconds. GFE, I want to know what your route was. I know you're not on right now. You got your rando stuff going on. But I want to know what your route was. And I want to know what Germ Dub's route was for that second optimization stage. Ooh. 
Oh, Germ Dove says you could skip the Yoshi section. Hmm. Stole the bomb. Stole the bomb. Yeah, okay, so there was a bomb, I remember, but what did that get you? You can't take that with Yoshi, so we just didn't take Yoshi. But what does that help you with? Oh, that lets you break into the... through that ice block into the final section. And I'm guessing there was a shellment in that room. Hmm... Ah ha ha! Oh, clever, clever germed of. So now the only real mystery is what in the world GFE did. Timer, hard cut off, game over, start again. Yep. The usuals. Whew. Man. At least I don't have to keep track as closely since just subtract a thousand. Okay. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, shell jump. Oh, good, shell jumping. I'm great at shell jumping. Actually, this might be easy enough. Nice. We got one. Okay, that was a great level to start with. Those were not hard shell jumps. They were Super Mario World, which is what I'm best at shell jumps in. For no, I think the physics are the same, no matter what. Three boom booms. Oh. Okay. Go, go. Oh, cool. That's all right. I think we can do this one. Interesting level.
Nice. Where's the other boom boom? He's not here. Where's the boom boom missing? Wasted a lot of time on that one. I just kind of assumed there would be a boom boom somewhere. Underground cleanup, no damage. Okay. Well, that's rough. I am lagging behind here. Flappy Mario. Let me guess. Okay, that's not too bad. Honestly. a little bad. I am struggling. I was the first on the board and I haven't gotten one since. <sighs> Do not land. Cool. I'll tie up at last now. Uh, do a plane quest remove. House of Dread, this sounds like a bad level. Two minute world record. That's a bad level. All 45. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Go level, bro. Okay, there's a mushroom in there. There's an on off switch there. Huh. Cool. Got that three. I'm at least beating one person by now, right? Two even. All right, I'm in the middle. Pretty garbage level. Okay. Oh, fuck. Thanks. I think this might be doable, unless there's some really bad uh, subworld. I think the level's broken. Deeper dance, extra level. Oh gosh, what? How many keys do I need? I need more keys. But should be a doable level. This level is pretty much beaten. Alright, Koath has me beaten, Zero has me beaten. I'm tied with Odin. Uh... Oh no! You're kidding me! You have to get... 
Oh, that's a bad level then. No. Boo. -hoo -hoo. 24 coins. Dang it. You can just fly through this. I think whoever built this level didn't realize that cake flight is a thing. kidding me. One behind Koas, three behind Zero, but I'm beating Odin and Germdove by one. If I can stay ahead of them, that'll net me the that'll net me a reasonable amount of points. Defeat three Koopa Troops. Kind of race level. Catching up with Koas, even. But I've only got two minutes, less than, even. This will be one of my worst expert run totals so far. To be fair, I haven't raced for the past 
What were your four races? Uh oh, Germ Dove catching up with me. I need a level that can be beaten in under a minute. That's doable. I can do that. I can do that. Whew. Eked out number six there. Koas has escaped my grasp. He hit seven. Gonna have to be a really fast level. Yeah, it's not. Wait, it, it is. is the game how did we do let's pull up the uh the mainstream here and let's cut out what are we going to cut out here i do not want to hear Mixer, bring out, okay, there we go. Roxio, so that I can actually hear the stream here. Oh, no zero planes, one already. Koas losing with a seven, zero planes with a nine. So that is your uh, final score, nine, seven, six for your top three. GG to all of the runners today. We're going to see if any of these runners want to come chat about it. Looking at the uh, final scoring, Looks like Chaos Legion was able to eke out enough clears. You might want to do a post-race chat. Zero definitely so I think I might have gotten third place total on that. Setup page that is. Let's pack up three. Looks like we've got uh, nine. Chaos Legion edging out a two point win over zero planes. Yeah, zero and got based the on second their, place. Uh, Sorry, I was third on that then. The combination of their scores from all the rounds. So zero would have needed another two expert clears to force a tie. I don't know who zero got planes was. Zero. I'm sorry, not zero planes. Dobbs was just one point behind. Ah, oh, one point. Planes, so would have tied for second. Ah, oh. clear. So very tight battle for. Dang. For second. Also, don't forget you can still get your vote in Oof. for your favorite level from the marathon section today. Favorite level. Renton's Fortress was good. And uh, 
swinging for the swamp's coins. That was the the new Super Mario Bros. The only one that voted for that one. It was not in part two, but it was a little bit of precision. Currently sitting in the lead right now. You can still change that by getting your votes yeah, in. that level was brutal. Looks like we are having trouble with the invites for this. I don't know if our bot is properly configured in the uh, server for that, so we'll go ahead and get invites manually. I did see that Dobbs, Zero, and Ixalessis all are going to join us here, so we're going to get invites in right now. Great to meet you, Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Alright, I just got Zero planes. Yep, I got all three of them. All right. There we go. So we're going to see uh, if they come in and we'll uh, start chatting with them when they... And right now as well. So there's Dobbs as well. GG, Dobbs. Oh, thank you. Well, Chaos, it looks like you uh, pulled off the win today. So GG and your first thoughts on this. Uh... Overall, like awesome levels, <laughs> very awesome levels. That, that that levels have definitely been getting better as the weeks have been passing by. So the uh, in part one, and probably what won you this overall was the uh, new Super Mario Brothers level with a little bit of precision jumping going on. Yeah, I'm very surprised. That level gave me quite a bit of trouble, but uh, precisions are my second favorite types of levels to play, so this one was actually super well done. I, I really enjoyed it. Dobbs here with us also in... Uh, part two, you actually had the best finish in terms of optimizing those levels. So apparently something there agreed with you. Yeah, optimization phase. Oh, yeah, optimization phase is always my favorite part of this race. You get to really get familiar with the level and try and puzzle out the best route. It's a lot of fun. Uh, also, we did link you to uh, vote on your favorites, but uh, care to share your thoughts on your favorite level today? Uh, my favorite was actually the uh, the first one of the optimization, Renton's Fortress. I thought there was a lot of fun little parts in there that were uh, fun to optimize. Some of the levels this week got a little bit difficult for me. That fifth level of the marathon was one that I probably would run away scared from. The precision jumping in that one, that really brought everyone even and it made it anyone's game at the end. Uh, zero planes. Do we have working audio now? Yes, I'm good. I can hear you guys. Thanks. Sorry about that. Oh, fantastic. Well, your first week being able to join us for the weekly, so talk about what you're thinking. There is some serious competition here. Um, it's so fun to play against such great players. Um, to get to like go on the weekend and like give it my best and like have some people that like you know like really fight back hard. And there's some really great levels here. Um, it's fun to like optimize like routing a speed run like with a new game is one of the funnest aspects of speed running in general i i generally enjoy that more than like going into like a well-established game where it's like you learn all this frame perfect stuff and then like you come and do this every week and you've got five more things that you have to speed run and you have to route it quickly and well so it's i'm really enjoying it uh we weren't able to get germ dove in here unfortunately so i uh, do want to give him some props for that uh, that Yoshi skip. Well, bomb skip, I yeah, guess would be the best thing to put it. Skip. He used the bomb. He skipped the Yoshi bomb. section, but he used the bomb to do it. You usually name the skip after what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah I, I tried I that had early on. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I had trouble figuring out how to save like six plus seconds. And usually I'm not very good when it comes to speed running. So I was thinking the entire time how how do you skip something i just could not think about it and once i read that the you could use the bomb i was like oh right <laughs> <laughs> so what i tried is i i tried to bring the bomb over to the ice block and you could break that but then i didn't know what to do with the other stone blocks that you needed the shelmet for uh there was a shelmet in a block Oh, uh, yeah, the, 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 where the pink coin is to the left, there was another helmet, which made sense Dang. to me. 
<laughs> now that choose your own uh, speed run level, I don't know how we still weren't able to pull off world record with all the uh, with so many people trying to route it at once. I think the bottom route was probably the way to go, and then like the trick was going to be like how quickly you can get through those buzzy beetles, like not knocking against the walls. I tried early on to go for like YOLO strats, jumping over the whole level, and I think that that's not going to be the way that you beat it. The underground seemed like it was shorter and probably a better investment on time. Uh, did we get favorite level out of each of you, or? Uh, no. Got... Like, with me, it was the, obviously, the very last level, the swinging for swamps coins. Uh, again, <laughs> I, I just love precision types of levels, so it, it clicked to me rather quickly, and, um, again, just trying to do everything all in one shot was pretty nerve-wracking. <laughs> so I, I was surprised that I was ahead by quite a lot by the time uh, everyone else did the whole done thing. So, yeah, like, to me, this level was basically what you would see anywhere. So I, I would like to hear everyone's input as to what it is exactly that made the level difficult since I'm so used to it. For it's me, possible. it's so easy to make a mistake. And so, like, I think part of what happens is it gets to my head because I know, oh, any player right now could have not made that mistake and could be finishing the level. So then I panic, and then I try and speed up, and then I screw up more. And then it's just sort of a, this feedback cycle. OK. It, it does make sense. I'm, I am exactly the same, where I die, and I'm like, great, now someone's ahead of me because <laughs> I died at the last coin. But yeah, when I, when I jump towards the pipe, I think I barely saw it by the time I jumped, and I swooped back to the left, and I was like, oh, man. If I would have just jumped straight down, I, I would have been done for. And on top of that, every single time there is a coin level, I'm always asking myself, where is that door? Just because of how nervous I get, I mm -hmm. constantly forget where the doors are. And I'm like, where's the door? I'm going back. Oh, there's the door. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that level. Uh, cr crazy Train, I think, was really cute. I enjoyed it. But then for speedrunning, Rent and Sportus was probably my favorite just because there's a variety of things you had to do. There was like jumping over fireballs. That Bowser fight was a unique twist. There was that precision fall in between the Muncher and the Koopa. And then like there was a lot of running rights, I think, for me. That made it a lot of fun to speedrun. Let's see. Uh... So we weren't able to get Odin's in pack in here either the uh, second week, but uh, yeah. good this effort for Odin's this week. And then actually, I was going to make a comment about uh, back in the marathon after you, after the four that we had on the stream were finished, we did swap Odin's pack in to see how he finished on the final level. He actually did uh, have his issues with the first two coins on that second section. We noticed we got in middle of that le final level, so he was almost done the first section then. Uh, but he got finally got past that seventh coin and that jump after the seventh coin. He actually did coins eight, nine, and ten in one shot. I don't think anyone oh else on the restream did that. Sheesh. So a very uh, nice uh, finish of that level. Yeah, just occasionally somebody comes in and makes one thing look ridiculously <laughs> good by yeah. just one shot at it. Right, one we'll shot in any level in general is pretty pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. Well, just those last two coins is what we were saying. Yeah. But as you said, one shotting any level, if you if you then go back and you see, oh, he spent about ten minutes on that level. Yeah, I did well. It makes you feel good when you can do that. Exactly. Chat, we'll give you one last chance to get your votes in before we close it on the uh, viewers' choice level. Of course, the runners get to vote yep. too. Runner in, it's like some runner votes have already gone in. I'm assuming all runners have gotten their votes in if they wish to by now. Yeah, um, I voted. Yep. While we're waiting for the final results of the viewer's choice voting poll, let's also cover just very quickly some schedule coming up on Speed Gaming today. Some Mario Kart 64 is just starting on the main channel. We'll probably host that when we're done. Uh, Undertale coming up later. Zelda 1 Randomizer Tournament Action also coming up on the main channel later. Super Mario Brothers 3 Weekly Race. That's just a little bit what's going on here at speed gaming make sure to follow speed gaming and speed gaming 236 keep tabs of everything going on here 
we are coming close to the de deadline to announce that viewer's choice level. So uh, any last thoughts from runners before we start to wrap up and do that? Uh, nope, just I uh, appreciate the weeklies. Uh, hope they keep going. Uh, I'm constantly shouting them out on my channel, so hopefully we get new people here and there. Nice. Yeah, thanks so much. I'm, I'm already looking forward to next week. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like I said, these levels have been getting better and better, and I actually love the fact that you guys have been saving a hard or hardish level towards the end versus keeping the same difficulty throughout. Yes, I like that uh, myself. I've uh, noticed levels in past weeks that have been very early, and I'm like, that's like a gatekeeper level. And I agree. I have it, think having the hard level at the end is a good way to say, okay, we'll give you some nice, easy levels, and then we're going to make you work for it at the end. So uh, I agree with that. I think that's a really good policy to use for that. I completely agree. Yeah. And a big shout out to our level testers who helped make that happen. And if you're seeing this and thinking, I could make a level for these runners. Go for it. We need as many as people will submit. And uh, we try to use the best we can. So with that, I think we have everybody voted who wanted to. Yep. And that's going to make. We're at four times. Go ahead and announce it. Refresh it and then announce it. Oh, well, if I got to refresh it just to be sure. Yeah, it's going to be swinging for the swamps coins with five votes was our winner. And crazy train ride was in second place. So. That's a first for us, that it's actually the yeah. two that were not featured in part two that were actually the favorites this week. Like I said, I commented on it earlier, we are optimizing three levels, but and very often we find those are the levels that end up winning. But like I said, if you like the other two levels, get those votes in. You guys okay. spoke up and you got those votes in. And I, from my perspective, I agree. I don't think either one of those would have been well suited for part two. But I would agree that those were two extremely good levels. So we're gonna we need to uh, check again who uh, designed those levels. I don't actually have it handy with me. I'm gonna try and get to it quick. Oh, um, well, swing. I'm just that's gonna be oh, okay. scroll up in the channel. Is Kirby yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I got it. Now. I'm just gonna say the uh, winner therefore was the Taco Princess who made up swinging for the Swamps coins. So yeah. the Taco Princess will get the $30 prize for the uh, best level. And Crazy Train Ride was made by Gregman2013, to, uh, I think is the Discord. I'm not sure if he has a different name on Twitch, but Gregman2013, he uh, made Crazy Train Ride. He will get the second place $20 prize for that. So congratulations to both of them, and thank you for the level submissions. Thank you for having your levels played on our weekly event. Very nice to see them. Very good levels, too. Let's start with Chaos Legion. Any final thoughts? Nope. Uh, just, uh, again, appreciate everything. I, I hope we get more and more players as weeks go by. And again, the, uh, the level layouts have been increasingly been getting better as time goes by. It's just awesome. Dabs? Uh, just big shout out to, to everybody behind the scenes. It's keeping this thing running. You guys are great. It's a lot of fun to play this race and really glad that, uh, you guys keep the wheels spinning. And Zero? And thanks so much for the to the organizers, to the people playing. It's fun to play against you guys and um, the level makers. I really appreciate it and happy to be a part of it. Thanks. And GG, and thank you for participating to all three of you. And congratulations. I think it was Chaos, Chaos, Chaos who won, you said, Trenton? Yes. Zero points for second. Congratulations, Coas and Zero Planes for getting your 30 and $20 prizes, respectively, as well. We hope to see you next week. Yeah, uh, GG it. to Germdove. GG to Jerndub and Odin's Pack for their participation as well in the uh, event this week as well. Thank you to them for participating as well, even though we didn't get to chat with them. Uh, make sure you follow these uh, runners who we have featured here. For those watching on YouTube, their names are exactly as you see them. I think Odin's Pack is exactly as we saw that earlier too. Uh, so that, I believe, is exactly the same. The two that are different are Coas Legion, who, which is under Coas Legion, K-A-E-R-U after it. Kairu, yeah. I think that is. Coas Legion, Kairu. Kairu, yep. And uh, Dobbs works, D-O-B-B-S-W-O-R-K-S for Dobbs. The others are as you see them. So if you're watching on YouTube, twitch.tv slash whatever name you want to follow. Uh, I will be giving you the final word in a moment, Trenton, but I just want to say again, make sure you follow all the speed gaming channels for all the events taking place here. We will see you for more Mario Maker 2 weekly action next week, same time. Maybe a different channel, we'll see. Uh, but one of the speed gaming channels. Uh, and uh, have a great afternoon, everyone. Have a great evening. Whatever hang on your time zone. Tritton, go ahead and take us home.
All right, Cyclone, it was fun. It was definitely an upgrade from, you know, the whiteboard. Uh, Wilson failed me so many times. But, uh, <laughs> you are here. That helps. And uh, thank everybody who joined us. Uh, thank you again to Mind of Me doing the scorekeeping in the background. Feasel did a lot of behind-the-scenes work as well. Thank you to all our runners who participated. And thank you each and every one of you who joined us this afternoon to watch the race. Hope you have fun, and hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Woo. What a race. I now, according to the analytics I've been keeping up with, I now have the most third place finishes of any of the racers. So that's something. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. kind of a win that I've never placed worse than third. So that's pretty good. Uh, Koaz has first placed every race he's been in. He's tied for first once, but he has never dipped below first for any single race. So let's see, who's the... Zero Plains was the winner. He has only... This is only his second race. Last time he finished fifth, he was beaten by Sergeant Snivy and the Owlglass. Um, I've beaten both Snivy and Owlglass before. Haven't faced off against them many times. So Zero Plane's just like ramped it up this week. A lot of that has to do with his expert run. Last week he did four finishes, this week he did nine, so that's pretty good. Let's see here, if we uh, compress this a little bit. Uh, how does that rank? That is my worst expert run to date, and apparently if I had finished one more course, say the one that I ended on that was just hit the flagpole and you're done, I would have tied for second. It's rough. Oh, hopefully, I'll be back next week with another race. Thanks for watching.